Deer Country Connected Ag Support. We're out here today doing some demonstrations of field mapping. We have a gator rigged up here to do it. We've got a Starfire 7000 on SFRTK signal mounted to the roof. And we've got a simple bar here just on the front of the gator, something flexible. There's a piece of wire with a nut just to weight it down. It could be a piece of chain, baler twine, whatever you can do to give yourself a reference point from the cab that you can see where you're driving. So we would have taken measurements and put them in on the display of the star fire to the rear axle, the rear axle to our front point for mapping, and then the center line out to where our chain is hanging. So we know as we drive into corners, we know exactly where our mapping point that we're starting and pausing and resuming it to go around corners. Real simple setup. We ran the cord outside the window with an Ag Express AE 3071 harness, mobile mapping harness. We've got our display inside the cab. It just has a display connector. We have an on-off switch for power. We've got this run to the battery. We have a JD Link modem plugged in, powered that up so we could send these maps directly to the op center. But a real simple setup to go out and do some boundary mapping to enable more features like boundary fill, guidance lines, auto path, turn automation, exact apply, shutting off the sprayer and the planter whenever we hit interior boundaries and having a better idea of what, what our field shapes are exactly. Going over our setup on the display, we loaded this as a utility vehicle. We have our inline offset, that's our rear axle to our Starfire, whether that's mounted on the roof or if you want to mount it somewhere in the bed of the gator or even up front coming off of the front hitch. We've entered the GPS height and we've gone in and added a front three point measurement. And that is from the rear axle to where we have a bar mounted on the front of the gator and that's our recording point we're using. So if you want to put a bar in the middle of the bed, you can do that as a front three point as well. If that point happens to be the same as your GPS point, you can just use an offset from your GPS. But if you're going to have it anywhere else, it helps to put it in as a connection offset. So we can set it up as a front three point. It's 95 inches front on this gator from the rear axle to our stick hanging off the edge. We created an implement called mapping boom or record guide. And the dimensions we need, we don't have a center of rotation because it's mounted to the same exact point we measured as the front three point. Added an operation in so I can add a working width. The working width is double what our recording point is. So we have 55 inches from the center of the machine out to where we have a, a rope hanging. And I just doubled that so I have a 9.2 foot boom on the front of the machine that I'm gonna record off of the left edge. The work point is zero feet because it's the same as the bar. It's mounted front three point. Work recording, we're not actually using. We just have to set it up as something. And we're gonna have the connection point as a front three point. All those things combined make for a mapping vehicle that let us drive around corners and have a visual representation that the operator can see up in the front left corner off the front of the cab, off the front of the gator and we can drive into corners and know exactly where we're pausing and starting recording. It can be done off of the Starfire, but it can be a little bit harder to visualize, especially if you're gonna use a tractor, exactly where your edge is at. 